I think anytime there's a um, SOCON Coach of the Year, it really speaks to the whole staff. So one of the things we really are proud of, you know, here at Furman is, um, you know, several coaches all, um, you know, could he run this program by themselves, but we have the kind of the luxury of uh, everybody kind of working together. So very collaborative um, and having three or four, you know, distance coaches on the staff, I think is a very unique setup that we have here at Furman. Um, so, you know, we're really just kind of focused on ourselves and hoping that we can, you know, pull off the, uh, um, you know, SOCON championship, which are always one of our biggest, you know, goals end of the season there and also the NCAA championship. Well, Frank's been a super consistent guy for us in cross country, always in our scoring five since his freshman year on. So uh, he's the one person who's been to the NCAA championships um, twice now. Um, so we're really counting on him for some of that leadership. He's done a tremendous job in practice, kind of keeping everybody, you know, a good pack and everybody tightened together. But he's also really worked on the end of his races, you know, making sure that he's closing really quickly, um, which he's done a really good job at. Uh, Savannah's done a great job. You know, um, whether it's the 5K distance or the first attempts at the 6K distance, she's been our number one runner uh, each week. Um, you know, she had those kind of credentials out of high school along with some of our other incoming freshmen, but she's really done a good job kind of handling a little bit more of the mileage and really running as our number one. So while we anticipate a bunch of the other women, you know, improving pretty rapidly, um, we have no reason to think that Savannah also won't be. So, well, both sides, men and women, you know, we're, uh, we're pretty with redshirt and so many of our juniors and seniors, you know, on both sides. Um, We'll always, you know, put a team out there that we feel can win a SOCON title as well as make it to the NCAA championship. So uh, they're learning, growing together. It's a really long season, um, you know, one that they're not really used to, to having um, that's already started. But uh, training's gone fantastic. It's just a matter of seeing kind of where we're at on the national stage this weekend. We're not phoning in this year by any stretch of the imagination, um, and yet it's kind of hard not to have our eyes also set on, you know, what we're going to be able to accomplish next year. You know, and, um, that's what we really came down here to, to kind of develop and build, and these kids have done a great job building a national, you know, distance powerhouse.